Hello everyone. Today I'm here to talk about a very important topic which is parenting. Every mother and every father would want to believe that whatever they are doing for their child is best. They try to put in their best efforts to give their children everything. But in the course at times they tend to neglect an important factor which we will be discussing today in this video. So if I may ask what are the things that we do or we should be doing as parents i've listed quite few of them we try to inculcate moral values in our kids we provide them with best of education we take care of their health we protect them from anything that can harm them we give them lots of love and care mothers especially take care that they give their children good healthy hygienic homemade food we tell them about their about our religion tradition our culture we take care of their all needs or their all little desires we try to give them as comfortable life as possible we help them in their problems we try to be on their side this is very important we we should we should give them unconditional love and accept them for what they are i've pretty much listed most of the things which as parents we do but in spite of all this my question to you is what possibly can be that one deciding factor based on which you can say that yes i as a parent has done a good job is it when your child gets selected in a premium institute or is it when your child gets a very good job or is it when your child is earning lot of money and leading a very comfortable life in my view the one factor that really matters and that determines that if you've succeeded in being a good parent is if your child has developed the skill of decision making if he is able to make judgment between right and wrong it is important to develop an independent child who is able to decide for himself who is able to make judgment between what is good for him what is not who is able to analyze pros and cons in a given situation whatever we are doing for our kids when they are young we can't be doing that all their lives we want them to be independent and for being independent the most critical aspect is decision making because that is what they have to do at every step in life all that we have been doing for years for our kids giving them best of education knowledge about things values everything is with an ultimate goal that one day my child would be an independent successful person none of us would want our kids to be dependent on us for all their lives but although we want that so much but unknowingly somewhere we are curbing this by not letting them free to take their own decisions why maybe because we are overprotective we are so accustomed to spoon feed them for everything we don't want them to make any mistakes we don't want them to make any wrong choices so what we do we take decisions for them and so eventually we are damaging their inherent skill of decision making it is okay if your child makes a bad choice or if he consciously decides to choose a path which as per you is not as good but it has to be a well thought through decision that your child has taken by himself for his life and he should own it our life is ultimately the result of decisions that we make i'm also not saying that you should not be there with your child to guide him you must do that but what you should not do is impose your decisions because it is perfectly fine in life to take wrong decisions and to fail as it gives you experience and learnings which is very important in life you know what success is only when you have tasted failure 
It teaches you gratitude to be thankful for what you have. Also, there is no definition of right and wrong. These, these are very relative things. It is all about the perspective. Something that is right to me may not be right to you. Being a non-vegetarian might seem right to someone who is and not to someone who is not. Of course, you may classify things as moral, immoral, righteous, not righteous, virtuous, based on your beliefs and values. But when it comes to life, it is, it is not that simple. It is way more complicated because it is not black and white. There are a lot many shades of gray. And I'm also not saying that you are not a good parent if your child makes a wrong decision. Or that the parents are responsible for the every decision that your child makes. No, it is not. All I'm trying to say, it is important that your child must be able to analyze in a given situation and understand the merits and demerits by himself. Eventually, he should be trained to reach that level. You should be there to guide him, not to take decisions for him. Allow them to have their own opinion. Listen to them. Right from the young age, you need to start involving your kid in decision making. You, you have to discuss the little things that you're doing at home. Tell them the factors you're considering before making any decision. This will enhance their analysis skills, their critical thinking ability. If a child is not capable of taking decisions for himself, then he's really not ready for the game called life. This must be an alarming bell for you if you have made your child dependent. If your child doesn't know what to do when you are not around. I'm sorry to say if this is the situation, you failed as a parent. So when you're doing everything for your child and offering them best of things in the world be careful that you don't have to spoon feed them to an extent that they lose their identity so my request to all the parents is neither dominate your child nor love them to an extent that they don't grow themselves because only then you'll be able to develop an individual whom you can be proud of. Think about it. Thank you.